are today at our favorite little shooting spot. Got a little bit of wind, about 10 mile an hour. It's like about a half value. So I think we're gonna go down and uh, set up a target. Uh, we're gonna try to sight in that uh, Nikon scope we got today. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of luck with that. So let's go down and uh, put us up a target. Got a nice big one so I can get this thing on paper a little easier, perhaps. Looks like our target frame's holding up pretty good. We get down here every now and then and place a backing board. We're using this particle board this time. And I think next time we're going to go with a regular plywood because this uh, particle board's kind of busting up and pulling through the targets, making some pretty nasty looking targets on there. A uh, little tip on the uh, guys are hanging your stuff. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's lines, lines on this thing that are level. And if you put everything up and screw it up, or if you make sure everything's level, you can stick your targets on there with a straight edge or using whatever part of the targets. And you can get your targets level that way when you're down on the bench looking through it with your crosshairs. You can kind of keep your scope level at the same time. But let's go on down there and see if we can't uh, get something on paper. Well, we got it on paper. I don't know if you can see that. First shot once I got it on paper. Made an adjustment over and down, came down too far, over too far obviously. But then I shot two shots just to make sure where we were at. And that's some two little buggers there, so now I'm going to come back up an inch and over an inch and see what that does for me. All right, we did a little uh, cleaning session on the gun after we got it sighted in and I fired those. Then I shot three shots. I was out of a clean barrel. First one went there, second one went there, third one went there. So that's our first go around uh, trying to group something on a, on a clean barrel. I'm definitely going to track that and see what we got there. I've got some uh, fresh paper sitting up over there. We're going to, uh, except for the two little holes in there I had from 50 yard side in. But uh, we're going to see what kind of group we can lay on this. did and we're back that wasn't uh, too bad of a day got out there got to do a little shooting and working with that uh, that new Nikon scope it's gonna take a little learning curve to kind of figure that that out a little bit better uh, I gotta make sure I can stay up on that glass pretty good uh, that first first focal plane stuff's kind of cool um, I actually like being able to uh, use that reticle as well um, some of the shots I were pulling off I'm still trying to convert MOA and in the mill and you know trying to get used to that and some of my adjustments are a little bit more than I thought they were so, but I'll get used to it um, the rounds that I that I ran through there I just kind of picked uh, picked something in the middle of that uh, that flat spot that we had and, and uh, it was like 43.7 grains and I just loaded a bunch up because I knew I needed some uh, some run time on that scope and at the same time I was able to use up uh, the last batch of my uh, IMR 4350. Uh, now I've got all fresh powder and uh, I won't have a problem using that all the same batch. Uh, I'm trying to run up some loads for this thing so that's going to be kind of helpful. Weather's starting to get a little bit warmer out there. It's almost 70 today and I, I should have been out there shooting. But uh, side ends did okay. Shot a couple of little groups out of there. You probably saw the one. It wasn't all, all that great. You know, not to me. So we'll figure that out as we go along. If you guys remember the little uh, plastic mag that uh, my rounds wouldn't quite fit in it because they were too long. MDT uh, sent me one. They're metal ones. And I got plenty of room. 
So now I will be able to run these things out of the mag and get myself loaded for them little varmints. And we're just going to have a good time with it. Plenty of room in there. So that's, uh, that's going to be cool to be able to just stay on target and follow through. Um, actually, after I left from getting that scope zeroed in, I, I kind of looked around for a while looking for some of those uh, furry little rascals. And I didn't see any of them in any place where I could shoot at them. But I will keep keep an eye on them. MDT sent us another little package today. So let's see what we got in this dang thing. You know, I hate opening up boxes from gun suppliers, gun stuff. A Swiss Arca rail for that Oryx stock, which is a full length rail. Cool. See the, I don't know if you can see the taper, taper on that thing, but the, those chassis kind of drop back a little bit right in here. So that thing's tapered to fit on there. So let's uh, put that little bugger on there and see how she looks. There's the hardware in there. And of course some instructions. And I also got some knobs for the cheek riser that they had. Instead of using the Allens, I can actually use the little knobs, knobs on the back and just loosen them up by hand and adjust my, my cheek riser. So that ought to be something cool to do. But uh, I've got me uh, got me some more rounds loaded up with the last of that powder, and uh, I'm gonna go out and try to see if I can't find any groundhogs and see if they manage to survive. I'll catch you guys next time.